So there are a couple of ways um, that you can make sure that these work the way you want um, for fail safe. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure um, that when you disconnect the signal completely from the control box and it's getting, you're not getting any signal, you get that blue blinking light and this is the fail safe position. And in this position, the landing gear should be deployed always. So let's do that again, but let's do that from a landing gear up to start. So now with my landing gear up, obviously it looks like down on the bench, but they're upside down. Um, should I lose, completely lose signal? Landing gear will deploy. And if this is how it behaves on the bench, then you've got the polarity correct on these connectors. Like I said, mine shipped with one of them reversed. And so I reversed one and realized that actually I had reversed the wrong one, and that's how I kind of went down the road of realizing how these should behave in a failsafe. And, and reading the documentation, what little there is. So you're going to want to be conscious of that. But now, what if the receiver's connected, but you lose radio contact? Okay. This is an X8R, so it has one particular way to set up failsafe. It depends on your particular receiver how failsafe is configured. But in this case, um, I put the channel that I want um, the land, that for the landing gear, and you'll have to program all of your failsafe at one time for the entire craft. So this will be part of your failsafe setup. But in this case, I'm just going to focus on the one channel I care about, which is channel 8. I want channel 8 to be in this position. That's what my failsafe position should be for this channel. And so I want my receiver set for failsafe at that position. And so by tapping the failsafe button once, I get the double tap on this, the double green light on the receiver, and it tells me I know what failsafe looks like. So let's go ahead and change the input on that channel. Now, if I was to cut the signal by turning the radio off. Failsafe. So the failsafe of the controller is based on no signal at all. But almost certainly your receiver is going to be on the entirety of the time, unless you've got some real problems with your craft. The receiver is going to be in play. The most likely way it's going to fail is that you lose connectivity, you lose contact with your radio, out of range or so on. And so your entire failsafe setup is going to be built around that. And probably for your flight controller, you're going to define some rules um, around failsafing and return to home and, 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 and perhaps it'll land or so on. But because the landing gear are controlled directly by your receiver over a regular PWM signal, you're going to need to set up that failsafe. And one of the things about um, the way this is done in OpenCX, that's important to notice, here in the, in the setup page, I've selected my radio and my outputs, but note the failsafe line. It's set to receiver. And there's a number of modes that you can select. One of them is to hold whatever position the channels were in um, before it lost contact. Another is to set up a custom mode where you proceed to tell to send all of those uh, settings out from the radio directly, which is a reasonable approach. Um, or no pulses, which is no signal. Um, and so if you use the no pulses mode, that would work as well because no pulses, um, this would go into failsafe. I chose to use receiver because I'm going to set up the rest of my failsafe on my craft using that. And I find that to be more reliable because the craft itself stands alone. Um, and so I selected receiver mode for failsafe and then I assigned the failsafe using the procedure of putting the channel 
into the position that I want it to um, be in a fail safe and then a quick clip quick click of the fail safe button on the receiver or whatever the procedure that your particular model has um, in order to set that up and so now as desired when I turn the radio off the landing gear remain deployed um, and, and as you saw if they were um, retracted they will um, return to the down position which is very good and will protect your your uh, gimbal and your craft uh, on an automated landing.